A big thank you to Spectra for sponsoring this video. Pom, will you go get the letter? Go on, go on, fetch. Fetch the letter. Right, let's see what's in it. Hi, Jamie. We'd really like to see you try and recreate the Nike.com website in just 30 minutes using the Spectra blocks. On the left is my website, it's blank. All I've done is installed the free Astra theme and the free Spectra plugin. On the right is the Nike.com website that I'm gonna try and recreate in 30 minutes. Let's go. So I'm gonna start by adding some pages along the top here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to appearance menus and I'm going to go main menu. Yeah, that's the name of the menu. Click create menu. And over on the right here, I'm just gonna add these into that menu. So I want all of these that I've just created, add them to the menu. They're in the wrong order at the moment, I'm guessing. Yeah, they are. So let's just drag them up and down so we can get them in exactly the order we want. Men, women, kids. So top to bottom here equals left to right on your website. And then I just need to select this down here as the primary menu. And I'm gonna set that as the off canvas menu as well, which is the mobile menu. So now we should have, if we go back here, we should have our menu along the top here. Don't worry about the design at this point. Now I need to create the secondary menu. So again, I'm gonna use the same process. I'm gonna to go to pages and add new. And I'm just gonna create these as pages. So find store. And then I'm going to go off to my menus again here and I'm going to create that as my secondary menu. You'll see there's a place in Astro where we can set a secondary menu. Now that I don't think will show yet but that's absolutely fine because we're going to add that using the header builder in a few seconds. So we're going to start to build out this header first and we're then going to add these sections down here and you'll see in the header builder here it comes with this really nice header builder. So we're going to start to recreate this header and I'm going to add a logo up here. Now I should have a logo saved to my desktop, which I do. I'm just gonna add in the header builder up here, I'm gonna add my secondary menu and that will add the secondary menu along the top here. Right, time to build out this page now. First thing we need to do is get rid of the page title from showing. So with Astra, you can actually hide the page title just by that little eye icon there. Now we're gonna start on this section over here. I'm gonna nab that text and I'm gonna use the Spectra blocks to build this with. Now they have a whole bunch of fantastic blocks like the container block, which uses Flexbox, which gives you tons of power that you can actually create lots of layouts with it. So I'm gonna use that for many of the things I'm doing. They've also got this really nice advanced heading block though. And another block I think I'm probably gonna use down here is this post carousel block, which does this nice post carousel. But what's nice about it is you can choose what kind of things you carousel. In my case, I'm gonna to wanna to carousel WooCommerce products. So I'm gonna start by adding the container block. It's a one column container block, so I choose that option there. Now within that, all I really need is this paragraph block. So I'm just gonna add the paragraph block in there, add my paragraph in there, and I'm gonna align it center. Let's look at the list view and we've got the container block up there. One of the great things about the container block is you get tons of controls. So you have lots of Flexbox controls, which are down here in Flex Properties, and you can change the direction of them, how you align them within the box as well, how you justify content, and how they wrap as well on mobile devices and then you have these container settings. So by default, it'll be full width. Full width is great because we want this gray bar to stretch all the way across the page. And again, with this in the container block, you can add a color, you can add a gradient color, you can add photo, or you can add a video. So I've just added this light gray color to my container block up here, and there you go, there's the background for it. So now we have one block, the container block within there, we have the paragraph block. It's time to move on to this section down here. Again, I'm gonna use a container block to house all this stuff today because that gives me control over the width and a few other things that we might need. So I'm gonna just go click, add new, add a container block. This again is a single column. So let's add the single column in. We're also probably gonna use margin a little bit in this as well, I think. So I'm gonna add a block here. Now there is also a cool block that they have in Spectra called the heading block. This gives you more control over your headings than you would normally get. So I'm gonna add this into my page paste my text in here and I want to change the font and that's one of the nice things you can do with the heading block so you can change the typography. So I'm gonna guess at this. I'm not gonna get particularly close to it. I'm gonna use pop-ins. You can also change the font weight here. So we're getting close. We wanna change the alignment of this as well in a second but we also want to, I think, change the size of it. You can either move this little slider here or you can punch in your normal sizes here 
And you can also do things like change the letter spacing, all sorts of stuff that you might want to think about doing as well. But that's okay for now. And then underneath that one, I'm just going to add probably just a paragraph block and just hit a paragraph block in there because that's all we need. And I am going to make that paragraph block bold. Right, and under this, I'm going to add the Spectra buttons block, which is really cool. It gives me lots of controls. It will just add it in for me but I can style them. I'm not gonna link them, but if you want to link them, you just click on them and you can link them. But I can change the styles of these. So for example, I can change the background color and the border. So let's add a little radius to each of these, maybe 20. What's nice about this is well, you can copy the styles between them just very easily like that. So underneath here, we're actually gonna add another container block. So let's click on the plus sign. We're gonna use the container block. For this video, it's a single column. We're gonna add some margin above it. So you see, you're gonna add some margin. I'll just add a little bit of space there. But why we really love this is because we can, in style, in background, we can add a background color, gradient, image, or video. We want a video. Now there's a couple of nice things here. A minimum height. So we can actually set a minimum height for my little video there. It's full width. So that's kind of cool. But what we can also do in advanced here, we can actually have responsive conditions. This means we can decide whether this shows on a tablet or on a mobile. I'm gonna say I don't want this to show on a mobile phone because I don't wanna use up people's mobile phones bandwidth when they're viewing my website. So to recap, my website that I'm building from scratch is over on the left. The official Nike website is over on the right. They're not identical, but I think mine looks Pretty great actually, I'm pretty happy with it so far. We need to move on to this section down here with this lovely post carousel and I have an idea about how I might accomplish that using the Spectra blocks because there is a block comes with Spectra called the post carousel block which I've seen before which is this one here. Now by default when I click on it, it's gonna bring in your posts but actually in the settings over here, you can tell it to bring in your products. You see I can say what post type do we want I don't want posts, I want products, and that's WooCommerce products. I've pre-installed WooCommerce and I've pre-installed some dummy products. And there we go, there's my products coming in. But what's really nice about it is you can configure it. In Carousel down here, you can actually change how it behaves, which is cool. I'm okay with that at the moment. But in content, you can actually turn off what you show. So we want to turn off everything, essentially, the excerpt, everything, and also the read more link. All we want is the little photographs that are now carouseling across our page. Right, for speed, I've just duplicated the existing block up here. I do want to make a couple of changes actually because at the moment my post carousels are auto sliding and I don't actually want that to do. I don't want it to auto play for either of them. So I'm going to turn that off here in auto play settings. In this one as well, I've just added quickly to show the title and then I've styled it here in here where I can actually set the font size here. Now I've gone a little bit small so it's got a bit bigger and that's my title. I don't think I can show the price, but that's okay. I've got close enough. We want to move on to this section down here. Let's make this wider so you can see what this actually looks like. And for this, we're really going to utilize the Flexbox properties of the container block. So all we need to do is add the container block as we've done before, but this time we're going to choose the three column layout, which is this option just here. And there we go, it's set it. But if we look at actually what we've built in the list view, we've got the top level container, but three containers within it. Why we want to do that is because we can set a background image for each column, each container block. And then we can use the Flexbox properties to do, th do things like align the buttons. There's just three things to do to get this layout working. The first is we need to add a background image to each container. So you click on style here and then click on the little image icon and choose your photo. You'll see that's very squishy. And that's because Flexbox or that box will collapse to the size, the default size. So we need to actually increase the size of that. So we come to general and you'll see in general we can set a minimum height. So it's really up to you what height you put in. There's a very useful setting when you're doing your other containers, which is this one, equal height. If you use that, then all the other containers will be the same height as each other. And all that's left to do is to add these little buttons into that container block. Now this is one of the big advantages of the container block using Flexbox because we can position elements within it. So I'm just gonna add the standard buttons block in here like so, and I'm gonna go shop women's. And the bit I really want to show you is this ability in Flexbox to actually control where that goes within it. So we come down to where we go, let's go general and flex properties. This is the magic source here. You can see here we can justify content. So I could align it at the bottom there. So let's change the style of it quickly. So we want that sort of off white color and we want the text to be black. 
So this is where we're at. Mine's on the left, looking pretty good. I'm really happy with it. The Nike website, the official website's on the right. Let's scroll down. That's not exactly the same in terms of style, but you know, in terms of functionality, and they both look fantastic, I think. I think my site's looking really great, and we've got those boxes working as well. For this section here, I'm actually gonna cheat a bit. I'm gonna use one of our plugins, which is Storefront Blocks, which, and we have a block that comes with Storefront Blocks called the Category Block, so I'm gonna try and find that here. I've added it to this site. It just lets you add your categories in a nice way because I couldn't find one in the core WooCommerce blocks that does it nicely. So these are all the blocks that come with storefront blocks and I just want the square grid there. And that should load in my categories. Now it's not identical to the Nike site because it doesn't carousel, but it looks pretty good and it does the same thing. It will link off to those categories. And then we've just got these two other sections. For this one, I'm just gonna use another container block with a flex box. And this one, I'm not sure I can do that. So I might just ignore that one. And then that's just four columns. So I'm just gonna finish those off now. Let's start by this section here. So again, I'm gonna add a container block. Let's add the container block in. The container block does so much heavy lifting and for this one, I just want two columns. So I select that option just there. And that sets my two columns and it's the same process that we ran before essentially. We're gonna choose a background image and then add this bit of text here and then add the buttons and then using the Flexbox settings, we're gonna align them. So at this point, my 30 minutes ran out I didn't quite get things finished. I'll show you the result in a minute. I'm pretty happy with it, but this is the boxes I've actually just created. And I did it in exactly the same way. I just created a container block with two containers within it, set the background image, added some text and a button, and then aligned it. And for this section down here, I kept things really simple. You'll see uh, this section here, basically it's just four columns. I'm pretty happy with things though. Things have gone pretty well. I'll probably give myself a seven and a half out of 10. The Nike site on the right, I think mine looks pretty cool. <laughs> There's my header. I could probably give a little bit more space above and below it. I've got the video working nicely, again using the container block. Then I've got this really cool post carousel working nicely. And again, this is great because you can use posts or custom post types, I think. But in this case, I'm used WooCommerce products. I've got this section working nicely down here. It looks very similar. If I expand there's a little bit, you'll see it's very similar. And again, that is using the container block that comes with Spectra. It's really, really powerful especially because it supports Flexbox. It's built using Flexbox, so you can do cool things like that in terms of the alignment. This section I cheesed a bit with using one of our plugins. And then down here, again, we're using the container block that comes with Spectra, super powerful. And down here, I just use another container block. So overall, we've got a finished website in just over 30 minutes. Let's just check what it looks like on mobile. As I resize this, you'll see how that video has gone as well. And there's loads more mobile settings that you get with Spectra as well. For example, if you want the headings to be smaller on a mobile, you can do it up here. You'll see these little three little icons for desktop, tablet, and mobile phone. So let's say I want that to be smaller on a mobile phone. I can click on that little icon, come over to font size here, resize the font size down. So for 30 minutes, I'm very, very, very happy. My site, I think on the left, looks absolutely fantastic. I think it looks like a really professional website and really just as good as the Nike website, if I'm honest, in 30 minutes. It's amazing what you can do with WordPress and some great tools like Spectra and also the Astra theme. I've actually cheated a little bit at the finish here. This little search box in the pro version of Astra, you can actually do nice rounded gradients. So the pro version gives you a little bit more finessing, I guess, and functionality like that. But from top to bottom, there's my page. There's my big hero at the top, looking great. There's my video. And then we've got these lovely post sliders working great. We've got these nice container boxes. That's our plugin, I cheated on that one. And some more container boxes. So overall, I'm really, 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 really happy. So I hope you found that useful and you learned something and I hopefully inspired you of what is possible that you can go off and create with WordPress in not very much time at all if you just use the right tools. So if you did enjoy this video, it would be amazing if you can hit that like button below because it really, 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 really helps spread the word of the channel. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. So thank you again for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, just hit that subscribe button below and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.